Chairman, uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. Welcome to Tutuane. Uh, it's been a long road. Uh, we are now in the round of 16. Uh, what does it mean uh, to, to Matai Tai to reach this level of the competition? Uh, good afternoon to your viewers, uh, Travis. No, uh, the feeling is great. Uh, and what makes it even sweeter is the fact that we, we, we had qualified last season, but you know what happened as the team from uh, our level were, were, were disqualified without losing a match. Uh, we had to go back to the drawing board and deal with uh, emotional and psychological issues of our players. But we managed to gain strength and strategy and this season we, we qualified again and it's actually happening. So it's a, it's a greatest feeling and all thanks to our players and importantly to our technical team and my colleagues for making a point that we never actually gave up. Uh, as a friend, uh, during your journey, I have noted the relationships that have been established. Uh, we saw Hungry Lion coming through, uh, providing uh, meals, we saw Skyline buses, and we are seeing a lot of merchandise now being sold uh, in Botswana and surrounding areas. What does it mean for the growth of the brand of Matita? This is actually a, a very humbling uh, moment or the face of the club. Uh, one cannot ask uh, for anything better. Yeah, you would know that uh, for, for once often, hopefully going forward, Uncle Lion came into the picture. We have had uh, Big Sky and Interstate, we have had your Equazi, we have had uh, your, your, your One Energy Company uh, assisting us to get uh, to where we are. The Free State Government, especially through the Free State uh, Sports Department, have also assisted. And importantly, our, our community, their love has been so big, uh, how they have always received us from our net bank games, from when we played Limpopo team uh, and then when we played the Northern Cape team. Uh, the love is so humbling and I lo I'm loving the way the brand is growing. A brand that has started from a uh, humble beginnings. It's, it's actually impressive. Uh, these relationships, uh, you touch on something important, the support of government, uh, provincial government. Uh, I was there when you played the final at uh, Snava Stadium in Davidson against uh, Mikado and the uh, MEC uh, Mahasa was there. And recently you were invited to the state of the, provi of the province address. Uh, showing that the uh, uh, provincial government is recognizing what you are doing. Uh, how has that relationship been like and the, the support that they've provided? Uh, the support has been, has been, has been, has been uh, 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 very welcomed from the team. Uh, uh, the government have where they can uh, try to assist, which is why I said, especially the uh, Free State Academy uh, through the office of Me uh, Uzola and, and, and Erika Khalid, they have really assisted. Even the Premier have at some point thrown a, a weight around in seeing that uh, uh, we received enough support, uh, especially beyond our Mikado game, because that time we struggled a bit, but at least uh, everybody came and bought and realized how important this thing is for the province and importantly our community. Uh, going forward, obviously you want to maintain these relationships with the sponsors, provincial government, even beyond your journey in NetBank Cup, what do you think as a club you then need to do to remain relevant, maintain these relationships and hopefully take them through to the NFT? Uh, uh, you know, you see your I question? See, I'm, I'm already talking about NFT, I know yeah. you're going there. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's fine, we must remain positive. Mm. Uh, it's like you were there when I was having a conversation with my players uh, to tell them the importance of uh, maintaining or even improving as a club in terms of performance because you need sponsors and people are identifying themselves with winners unfortunately uh, it is going to be very important especially for this net bank, bank cup thing it is not the ultimate progress or success for the team we need to uh, achieve uh, and support more which is why we are going to call upon uh, big companies to come on board and assist this uh, struggling club uh, it would be really humbling to see a big companies identifying themselves with a club at this level so that we can, they can enjoy the benefits when we are at, a, at, a, at an upper stage. And of course, you have spoken about Let Africa. This is where we want to see this team going because uh, this club, we, we, when it was established, one could see an opportunity in a societal crisis. 
in a sense that we want to turn it into an employment machinery for our players, technical team, our people who are doing business or cooking or selling consumables, uh, benefiting from this club when other clubs are, are visiting from other provinces. In mentioning that, I've noted that there's a very strong relationship between the football club and the people of Botswana. Uh, I know, I, I know convoys. Whenever you you are coming back from uh, the game against Mikado and uh, the one from uh, Northern Cape, people were waiting there there by uh, N8, I think, just before you get into Botswana, wearing the, the regalia, singing, happy, in a joyful mood. What, how is that relationship and how have you cultivated it? Uh, uh, like, 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 like I said, uh, 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 you see, this, that is the most humbling thing. Uh, the love is so big, uh, uh, we can't ask uh, for any, anything better. We know we want sponsors, but you know, the love feels so real. And the love is actually so, so, so real. When your club has got uh, so much uh, blessings from your community, you can only try to, 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 to impress them and do better. Uh, you, you can have money all over the world, but you don't buy such thing. Uh, the most important thing when you sell the club regalia, uh, they buy it instantly. For example, now we had an order uh, of our uh, merchandise. It did not last for more than three hours. They were gone. The t-shirts were literally gone. So we, it, it, it's humbling, uh, uh, it's shocking and scary, but at the same time, it, it makes one realize uh, uh, the big love that, that, that we have and thanks to our a, a, a management team and our players for and technical team for actually helping us uh, realize and grow this uh, huge brand. Uh, going in, in, into the game, uh, most people feel that the long chain uh, to, to the round of 13 in the David Cup which is actually long for, for APC Motorbelic team because we play a lot of preliminary rounds and you guys had to also play the final against uh, the winners of Limpopo. So you've played a lot of games, and has that uh, affected the team in terms of their league performance? Noting right now that you guys are in the fourth place, uh, 11 points away from the leaders, not counting the game <laughs> that his team needs to be decided on. Yeah, but do you feel that has affected the, the team's performance in the league? Uh, well, well, psychologically, I think it is. Remember, remember what I said. The boys had had, had, had worked so hard and qualified last year. Uh, and I think the fact that they wanted it so bad uh, made us struggle to, to, to find the balance between the league and, and, and the net bank itself. And, and remember, we had what we called the Vision 2022 of gaining promotion and qualifying for the last 32. And of the two, uh, we have done with, with, with net bank and the chances of, of course, winning the league now you can see. And to be honest, they are, they are very slim. But should there be a slight uh, space uh, opening there, uh, 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 we will definitely use it to, to, to the maximum, but as you have said, and I agree, uh, the chances are very slim. And I think the net bank got affected us one way or the other. Uh, like you say, the chances of winning the league are slim. Uh, now, you're not going to get relegated. Uh, chances of winning are slim. The focus is on the net bank cup. If you were to, I know the season has not come to an end yet, but if the, at the end of the season, if you were to do your assessment with, uh, with having reached the round of 16 and possibly anything can happen tomorrow, uh, would you be able to say, look, we didn't get promotion, but this has been a successful season for us? Even, and I'm talking beyond just football matters, even in terms of the brand, in terms of the organization, that is my tie tie. Do you think at the end of the season you can say what we've done is enough, it's a successful season? Yeah, in terms of net bank, definitely it, it, it has been a, a, a very successful uh, season. Uh, we have set our, ourselves a goal. We did not want to uh, only qualify for last 32. We wanted to get at a particular stage. And we are not uh, yet at that stage. And as a team, we are, we are a very ambitious team, a young ambitious team. A young chairman, a young technical team, and 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 and, and, and young management and young coaches. Uh, I, I, I would say I would say it, it has been a very uh, been a very uh, successful season. We are far away from relegation. We are safe, and and and, and we have a slight chance of uh, campaigning or contesting for the leagues. Uh, I mean, what what more uh, could one ask for? Uh, you 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 have uh, from from what I've seen. 
you have a good relationship with your, with your young squad and which because you're also a young chairman so you are, it's easy for you to relate to relate to them and you've been around them do you think psychologically they are ready for this big task and taking into account that uh, if i'm correct the last time sundowns met a team from the lower leagues it was power lines and they, they beat them 24 nil and so maybe that psychologically might have an impact do you think psychologically the boys are ready have you prepared them uh, for this, for this uh, my brother, I've heard people saying this uh, more and more at uh, the Powerline story. That thing is going to be a non-starter. In fact, it's a non-starter for our club. Uh, I mean, wh why find the reason, after working so hard, wh why find the reason of aligning our story with such a big score? Why, why is anyone not saying we must align ourselves with what happened with uh, the, the, the institution that once uh, beat uh, he parents 50 i can't remember the name i am sorry I think maluti fet college yes. now uh, we, we we are going to approach this game like any other game uh, because in netbank our games we call them uh, football heist and this is one of the highest we are going to uh, attempt to so uh, psychologically our players are ready in fact they were born ready and personally for big matches our players definitely have a big match temper that i can guarantee so our players are, are we're born ready. We're born ready. We've got absolutely nothing to lose in this match but to gain. The most important thing that we are going to do and that we've told our boys to do is to stay in the moment from the first to the last minute because this this could be your breaking point, even for our technical team. So oh, why fear? What is there to fear? And remember, fundamentally, NetBank exists to give smaller clubs an opportunity to play with the bigger uh, or the best in the country, you can say. So the ultimate best actually in South Africa is Mamelo de Sundowns. No disrespect to other opponents or other teams. You can check their pedigree in African uh, competition. You can check their pedigree in the PSL. So they, they are up there. And for us to compete or to be the best, this is the ultimate thing we needed. Chairman, uh, we know uh, running a football club uh, is not easy and it's a costly exercise, especially in the lower rents where you, you, you participate. Uh, there's a prize money uh, at the Nathan Cup uh, at, at this level. Uh, what will that prize money mean for Matai Tai in terms of their growth and going forward? Yeah, a, 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 a very important question, uh, Tabiso. Uh, a net bank uh, prize money would mean our players benefiting and importantly making sure that they said something that will always look back and, and point at as a club or this is what we did when we are uh, we reached a particular stage in the net bank and, and, and thanks a lot to net bank to for giving uh, uh, kids from uh, socio-economic uh, spaces uh, such a big opportunity to to can uh, rub shoulders with the bigger clubs but definitely the club should be able to point at something we should be responsible for that in terms of the management and importantly we should make sure that our players and technical team are at least going to benefit from the prize money uh, before we let you go chairman uh, do you have i know you you, you you speak a lot to the, to the people from your community you had a prayer session yesterday but is there a message you'd like to send to, to your supporters back in Free State and your and people who are who are captured by this journey of Matai Tai? Yeah, yeah, definitely I would be failing I think in my in my in my in my birthright uh, duty or constitutional duty if I would I would oversee that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I sometimes uh, when sitting alone just got amazed by how big uh, love this love is for for our club from our community the blessing is so is so is so humbling and so so emotional you know when one started this team working with that data uh, 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 i had always anticipated it would get to this uh, but sometimes it surprises me uh, how, how did i manage this how did we manage this as as as, as, as the whole club and 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 it's 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 uh, uh, one can only say it's it's so humbling it's so big thanks for our society thanks to everybody who came on board uh, thanks from everybody who cooks for our, the premier meal for, uh, for our players me me uh, i mean uh, our driver everyone a kit manager everyone their love is so humbling and at my age and uh, running such a big thing uh, i i hope that it can only be an inspiration to a black child out there to say uh, you can and you will. Chairman, 
thank you very much for your time and uh, all the best for tomorrow. It will be 11 versus 11. Anything is possible. Good luck. Uh, we are not honoring the match. We had to compete, Baba. Hmm. No, thanks for your viewers and thanks for the interview, Tabiso. Thank you. Thank you.